Hey guys, I was down in Virginia and had lunch with some friends. We ordered hush puppies and never having had them before, they were absolutely fantastic. And you know me, I came home and had to try and make them and they turned out spectacular. So let me show you how to do this. So the first thing you want to do is add half a cup of old regular all-purpose flour to a mixing bowl, followed by a cup of yellow cornmeal, a teaspoon of baking powder just to get a rise on things, two tablespoons of white sugar, which is totally optional, but I like it just for that sweetness, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and you know me, I have to have garlic, another half teaspoon of onion powder, and last but not least, to bring out those flavors, a teaspoon of salt. Grab up your handy dandy whisk and whisk everything until it is well combined. Of course, you can be the master of your seasoning and add some paprika, hot pepper flakes, whatever you like. This is just my favorite. Okay, now go ahead and crack in one egg. Then half a cup of buttermilk. And if you don't have buttermilk, you can use regular milk. But like many people, I just like that richness of buttermilk. And once again, to build some muscle up, a whisking we will go. And while I'm whisking, somebody is patiently waiting on his hush puppies. Coco said I might as well have a sleep while I'm waiting. And what you want, guys, is a nice smooth batter, something like this. If it isn't thick enough, add more flour. If it's too thick, add a little more buttermilk. Now into some oil heated to 350 degree Fahrenheit. And I'm using an ice cream scoop here because it's really handy, but you know, you can use a couple of spoons as well. And we are going to fry our hush puppies up in batches until they are a beautiful golden brown. Now, here's the thing. They should turn on their own as they fry, but you might have to give them a little bit of persuasion with a spoon. And this will take about, oh, three to four minutes at 350 degrees until they're a wonderful, wonderful golden brown. And just look at this, guys. After three or four minutes, don't these little puppies, pun on words, look absolutely incredible? So what you want to do is set these on a wire rack to drain any excess oil and continue with the rest of the batter. And I have to say, I made another batch later and I added some finely chopped onions and jalapenos and they were incredible as well. So go ahead and experiment. But don't go away yet because we are making up a sauce. By adding three tablespoons of unsalted butter to a saucepan over medium high heat. And we'll go ahead and stir this around and let it melt down. Then in with half a cup of that wonderful, tasty, sweet maple syrup. And if you don't have maple syrup, you can use corn syrup. And yes, this is a sweet sauce. And we'll just stir this around, bring it to a boil, and let it thicken just a little bit. And of course, now our sauce goes into a ramekin. And I must say, my friends, this sauce is only a suggestion. You can use a honey mustard sauce, a hot sauce, whatever you like. Okay then, now I've got all my hush puppies into a fancy basket with a liner. I'm going to garnish this up with some fresh parsley just to make it look all pretty like. And just look at these hush puppies, guys. Don't they look great? I mean, I do declare they are just about good enough to eat. And I'm not sure if you can hear this or not, but they are indeed crunchy and they stay crunchy. And I mean, you crack one of these open and that texture is just amazing. These, I have to say, are perfect. Dip them into that sauce, guys, and you bite into them, and it is just a piece of heaven. They are bread-like. They are tasty. They're a little bit on the sweet side. Oh, the seasoning that we put in is just great. You are going to love these. These are a simply must-make. So drop us a comment and a like and let us know what you think. And as always, if you're hungry for more, subscribe.